Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Music and Arts, Grade 4, Quarter 2, Lesson 2. Our topic for today is about Basic Concepts and Principles of Sound, Theater, Dance, and Visual Elements. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning Competency Relate their faiths and beliefs based on the representations of local creative works with basic concepts and principles of sound, theater, dance, and visual elements. Objectives First, describe faiths and beliefs. Second, differentiate the characteristics of faiths and beliefs. Third, interpret the symbols and representations used in the Benjamin dance and explain the relevance of faiths and beliefs in the context of Benjamin dance through of symbols and representations. Here are the contents of our lesson. First, Basic Concepts and Principles of Sound, Theater, Dance, and Visual Elements. Second, Faiths and Beliefs in the Province on Music and Arts. Let's have first a short review. Loop a word. Loop all the words you encounter in the previous lesson. Make sure you can define the word you look for the teacher will ask you about it. Let's start. Bendian Bahag Shape Tapis Time Colors Line Solibao Space form, and texture. Again, let's read. Bendian, shape, tapis, solibaw, time, bahag, color, line, space, form, and texture. For our lesson purpose, in your own words, supply each letter of the word faith and belief to generate their own definition of the word. Faith, belief. Let's answer. Let's have first the word faith. F. Feeling sure about something. A. Always trusting, even if you don't see it. I. In your heart, you believe. T. Trust that things will be okay. H. Hope that helps you keep going. Now, let's go on with the second word, belief. B. Believing in something. E. Expecting good things to happen. L. Liking the idea that something is true. I. Inside you, you know it's real. E. Every day. You keep believing. F. Faith in what you trust. 
Let's now go on with our subtopic, Relating Faith and Belief Based on the Representations of Local Creative Works with Basic Concepts and Principles of Music, Theater, Dance, and Visual Elements. Bendian Festival Accordingly, people respond in different ways depending on the purpose of the celebration. The resonating and deep sounds of the Gangsa and Solibao are inviting. They signal an invitation to move out of their houses and proceed to the event venue to witness the happenings. The Bendian is performed for many reasons, one of which is when a kanyaw, ritual intended for a good harvest, is done. So, there is a full week of sacrifices, including the killing of pigs and poultry, along with the playing of gongs, chanting and dancing around to ask for enough rain to irrigate the fields and offering prayers to Kabunyan for a bountiful harvest. Some do kanyao rituals to heal a prolonged illness and relieve natural calamities such as famine and drought. Symbols and representations are used in the Bendian Festival. When both arms are extended above the head while the hands are flipped up and down, it symbolizes progress, bountiful harvest, etc. What dance step is this? Can you identify? We will learn it today. Costume during Bendi and Dance These are the traditional attires of the Ibaloy women of Benguet. They are the kambal or blouse, divid, wrap-around skirt, and shengit or shengit or headdress. An Ibaloy women's shirt or jacket and wrap-around skirt are both adorned with a recognizable stripe and plaid pattern as you can see in the photo here. Accordingly, if the quality of the cloth is good and the color of the designs is bright, it signifies the high status of the owner. Indigenous musical instruments played during Bendi and Dance Gongs and solibao are commonly heard during the Bendian dance, which is a customary dance performed by the Ibaloy community in Benguet. These musical instruments enhance the lively ambience of the dance by providing a rhythmic background. In addition, the beating of gongs at a feast signifies nobility and thanksgiving for important gatherings such as weddings, family reunions, healing of the sick, or even during the final rites of a burial. It also signifies recognition of important person in the village. What are the cultural beliefs and customs of the Ibaloy people of Kabayan Benguet? The cultural beliefs and customs of the Ibaloy people of Kabayan Benguet are reflected in their circle dance symbolizing community unity, traditional musical instruments that communicate with the spiritual world, vibrant costumes expressing their heritage, and festivals like Adivai that celebrates gratitude for nature and reinforce communal ties, all of which 
highlight their values of cooperation, identity, and respect for ancestral traditions. Let us have first a lesson activity. Answer me. Divide the class into eight groups. Assign a picture of Bendy and Dan step to each group and let them determine at least one symbol and representation used in each step of the Bendy and Dance, and even the designs in their costumes. Write your answers in the answer sheet. Next, distribute the pictures and let each group discuss for 5 to 10 minutes to do the task. Now, let's have the How to Dance Bendian. There are 8 Bendian steps. Let's know them one by one. First, Pines Bekan. The right hand is extended upward while the left hand is extended downward. The fingers are almost touching the ground. The body is tilted slightly to the left. The left foot is lifted 2 inches above the ground and kicked in small motions to the side. It means to attack and take over. Number 2 is Salawasaw. Both arms are extended overhead while the hands are flipped up and down. This symbolizes praise for the bountiful harvest received by the village. Number three is Kinitangan. Hands are steady on the waist. The gesture portrays caring for the crops to support the family. Number four is Kinikayan. The right arm is bent. It is moved forward and back with the palm facing upward. The left arm is extended forward. The action mimics planting. Number 5, Inushungan. Both arms are raised slightly over the head, resembling the position of surrender. It means to ask Kabunyan to bless and protect their crops. Number 6, Inudian. The dancers maintain their positions as in Inushungan, but this time, the reverse direction. At another point, the men face the women and vice versa. It means turn and reverse to confuse the enemy. Number 7, Pinahosan. Both arms are clipped at the back of the waist with hands facing upwards. The body is bent forward. Number 8, Inabaya. The upper arm is clipped to the side while the lower arm is extended forward with hands facing upward. It symbolizes the receiving of blessings such as crops and livestock. Learners takeaways. Let the learners complete the following process. First, we learned that blank. Second, we realized that blank. Third, we appreciated that blank. Write your answer in your notebook. Let's now go on with reflection on learning. Thumbs up, thumbs down, 
time's up. The teacher will read the following statements and ask the learners if they able to learn the following. If yes, they will make thumbs up and thumbs down if not. Do not forget to say time's up after 5 seconds after reading. First, describe faith and belief. Second, differentiate the characteristics of faith and belief. Third, interpret the symbols and representations used in the bendy and dance. And fourth, explain the relevance of faith and belief in the context of bendy and dance through of symbol and representations. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.